With stay at home becoming a ubiquitous phrase in 2020, the world saw a temporary reduction in overall energy consumption, including the use of fossil fuels. But treating this as a long-term trend rather than a disruption could prove costly. Climate change will continue unless the world drastically reduces its dependence on fossil fuels. The world will rebound. People want to get their jobs back. People want to travel. If we don't make any changes, we're just going to go back to the same energy consumption patterns we had before COVID. What our paper is trying to do is to tell people how we're using energy, how much energy we're using, and and what we have to really do, not in some abstract way, but more directly. How we generate energy in the United States is quite important on a number of different fronts. Obviously, when we turn a light switch on, we want the light to turn on, and so having reliable energy is important. The other part is the environmental aspect, though. We want to make sure it's not just reliable, but it's also clean. And that's where gas turbines can play a really important role. They burn natural gas, which, as compared to coal, has a significantly lower carbon impact, and also they're extremely efficient machines. Almost double what you're getting from coal, and so these machines are reliable. They're much cleaner than some of the alternatives, and they're a good, flexible pathway、uh, as we think about decarbonizing the grid. What can we do in the future to make this happen? And that's where engineers really need to put in the infrastructure that helps us find charging stations easier for electric cars, or. Buy solar energy without having to stay in that home or own that home. Those are things that we need to figure out. One of the biggest roadblocks for addressing energy consumption is understanding how much energy you really use. I think engineers have a role to play in all of that. This data is extremely complicated,、um, but it matters for our everyday lives. It matters for the future of the nation and the future of the world for our environment. And so it's up to us to be effective in how we communicate these things.